Hello everyone. Uh, when we have Azure AD joined uh, Windows 10 machines and they want to access on-premise resources like uh, file shares and printers or line of business apps, then we do not need any special configuration. If we have Azure AD Connect uh, synchronizing the user groups from local AD to Azure AD, then that's uh, the only thing we require. But there is a case wherein if we have uh, Windows Hello for business configured for those computers. In that case, we need some special configurations which we will talk about, but let us see a demo here. So this is my cloud machine, which is joined to Azure AD. It is not joined to on-premise domain. So from here, if I try to access any share, let's say this is my domain controller share, I can access them. So it is working. But what if I enable Windows Hello on this one? Will it work? So let us uh, see that. In Intune, I already have a device configuration for Windows Hello pin, which is this one. And it is applied to my hybrid on-premise uh, domain joint machine where pin is working. And for that, I already have a video on step-by-step -step instructions in my YouTube channel. It is applied to a group called Hello Testing. So I will just add my cloud computer to this uh, group and it should set up the windows hello pin for this so here is my hello testing group the name of my cloud computer is aad-0132 so i will add it here So the computer has been added so let us wait a few minutes for the policy to sync and then we will set up a pin on it the policy has been synced and i have rebooted the computer now it should ask me to set up the pin so i'm going to set up the pin now The pin is set now. Now let us try to access on-premise shares which were working earlier. It is asking me to provide the pin which it did not do earlier when I only had the password. So even after putting in the pin, uh, it is not working. So let's see how to make it work now. Here is the trusted root store for this computer. And as we saw in my previous video that I assigned uh, Kerberos authentication certificates to my domain controllers for Windows Hello authentication from my internal certificate authority. And I do not see this computer trusting my internal certificate authority. So we will have to apply the trusted root certificate on this computer. In order to do that, let us go to any of our domain joint computer and from there we can get the certificate. So this is a machine which is on premise domain join. On this machine, I will export the certificate. And then I will import the certificate on the Azure AD join machine. So this is the trusted root certificate. I can export it and then import it on my Azure AD machine. So I will save it on the desktop of this machine for now. Name it TR. I will copy it on my machine. And we will create a profile here to apply this certificate in Intune. So we don't have to manually import it on the computer. Intune will push this certificate. Go to create profile. We will select Windows 10 or later. Select trusted certificate, create. Internal domain trusted next here we will specify the path to our trusted certificate which is this one 
and we will save it in computer certificate store root. I will select the group which my Azure AD computer is part of. I have already created a group which is called certificate assignment and added that computer to it. Now we will sync the policy and wait for the certificate to get deployed to the computer. So let's wait. I will pause the video and come back once it's done. Policy has been synced now. So if we go to Trusty Root certificates on our Azure already joined computer, we can see that our internal root CA cert is here. So now let us try to access the share and see whether it works or not. So now let us try to access the C dollar as we have the certificate present and it doesn't seem to be working okay now we have the certificate but still it is not working it is because uh, when we have the certificate it has a certificate revocation list where it checks whether that certificate is still valid or not or whether it has been revoked so when the machines which are on premises they can authenticate to that location using on premise credential and get that certificate revocation list but for Azure AD joint machines, they cannot authenticate to that location and they cannot check the revocation. That is why it is failing. In order to resolve this issue, we need to have that uh, CRL distribution point located in a location where Azure AD devices can access it uh, without any authentication. So the easiest way to do that is to publish that CRL distribution point on a web server that chooses HTTP. So now we will see how to do that. Here I am on my certification authority and if I see issued certificates, for example, this one for domain controller authentication, go to details and go to CRL distribution list. We see the path for CRL distribution point, which is my domain controller and it starts with LDAP. So my Azure AD joint computers uh, cannot access it because they cannot authenticate to on-premise domain controllers. And that is the reason why it was failing. So we need to publish it to IAS uh, so that they can access it using HTTP. I have uh, IAS already installed on my domain controller. So for this demo, I will use the same IAS. In production environment, you can have a separate server where you can install IAS and configure the CRL distribution point. So I have IAS open. I will right click the default website and click on add virtual directory. I can give any alias name. So I will give it CRLDP. Physical path, I will save it in a folder on C drive. So I will name it CRL. DP and, and let me create this folder there. Folder. And click on OK. Now we will double click on directory browsing and click on enable. Then we will go ahead and select CRL DP again under default website and double click on configuration editor. In the section list, we will go under system web server, security, then request filtering. We will change allow double escaping to true and click on apply. Now we will close the IAS. Now we will go to our internal DNS and create a host record for CRL and specify the IP address of the server which has that folder in it CRLDP so that is done the next step would be to share the folder which we created so I will right click on it go to properties sharing go to advanced sharing click on share this folder In the shared name, I will change it to CRLDP dollar to make it hidden and go to permissions. 
here we will add the name of the computer which is running certification authority and running certification revocation list which is the same computer in my case and give it full permission and then close this window now we will disable the caching for this folder so we will again go to advanced sharing caching and select no files or programs from the shared folders are available offline we'll go to the security tab and give the computer account full control on this one now we will configure the new crldp folder as our uh, published location so this is my certification authority i will right click on my ca name go to properties go to extensions I will click on add and in the location I will type in HTTP CRL which is the host directory we created in DNS and it will be Django.local forward slash the name of our folder and again a forward slash then we will select the CA name and click on insert then we will select CRL name suffix insert and then delta crl allowed and insert and at the very end we will type in dot crl and click on ok we'll select both of these check boxes and click on apply click no here now we will click on add again and here in the location we will type in the path of our shared folder we will add ca name crl name suffix and delta crl allowed and type in dot crl at the end click on ok select publish crl to this location and select publish delta crl to this location we'll click on apply and now we will click on yes to restart the certificate service click ok go to revoked certificate right click all tasks publish select new crl and click on ok now let us browse to the url and see whether it is working or not ttb crl CRLDP. our HTTP CRL distribution point is working now we will have to reissue the domain controller certificate as the earlier certificate doesn't have the updated CRL so we will log on to the domain controller and open its local certificate store here is the KDC authentication certificate I will right click it all task and renew certificate and roll finish so let us verify this go to details CRL distribution point so I could see my HTTP CRL distribution point here I will perform the same renewal on my other domain controller as well so I'm going to pause the video till I do that I have renewed the certificate on my other domain controller as well we will open the certificate go to certification path select the topmost certificate go to view go to details and click on copy to file next next and we will save it as a new certificate trusted next finish now it has been exported to our desktop we will copy this on our machine and create a device configuration profile in Intune and distribute this certificate to Azure AD joint computers so we'll create a profile go to Windows 10 and later trusted certificate next we'll select the certificate 
select the group which has our Azure AD computers. Next, next, finish. Create. Now we will refresh the policy on the device so that the device gets the certificate. And in the meanwhile, I will remove the old profile for the old certificate and delete that from the computer. So I'm going to pause the video and come back once this certificate is on the computer. The sync has completed and we see the certificate here. Now let us try to access the share. So now we are able to access the share and it is not prompting us for the pin. So let me reboot the computer and try again. Computer has been rebooted. Let me log in with the pin. Now try to access the share. Now it is able to access the on-premise resources and not prompting for the pin because the certificate revocation list we have published on our HTTP web server. Now my Azure AD joint computer is able to check the certificate revocation list as it is published on our web server. So this was a demo on how to access on-premise resources with Azure AD joint computers if you have Windows Hello enabled. So you need to have a certificate revocation list published to a web server on HTTP, which my Azure AD joint computers can access. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.